to everyone listening to this, welcome back. To everyone watching, that was probably the first episode that I've heard in a while that didn't start with "Welcome back, everyone." Yeah, uh, we had to switch it up a little bit. To everyone good. watching, also thanks for listening and watching at the same time. That's way cooler than just listening, but we understand that people have different uh, kinks. Yeah, <laughs> people have different watch. circumstances. I prefer to listen. Yeah, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you the story of? Uh, I was at Menards. I'm sure you remember this. Oh yeah. And there was what was his name? I think his name was Nate. His name was Nathan. His name, yeah. And uh, we were all standing there, sliding a giant bunk of lumber, and it was heavy as shit, and it was hot, and it was just me, Brone, and another one of our friends. And Nate was doing a hell of a job being a supervisor because he wasn't doing a fucking thing. Yeah. And Nate has five kids, I think. With three different women at the time. This was time. probably four years ago, five He's years ago. He's doing some different lumber sliding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, our other friend at Menards turns around and looks at him and he goes, you know, Nate, I am amazed that you have five kids for how much you just like to stand there and watch. <laughs> <laughs> what did he have to say back to that? I think he probably just walked away. He can't really say much back to that at all. You just stand there and keep watching. Yeah. That's, a, that's a shutdown statement. That's really good. This episode is 44, and I'm sure when you clicked on it, you realize what we were talking about. It is going to be the Olympics. Before we dive into the Olympics, let's uh, get give a little bit uh, some context. Okay, we're in our third set in three weeks. This, likely this room will be the new primary set for three dudes. It might look a little bit different. We got some uh, chairs on order. Going to get the chairs rocking. Huge. Maybe have some different wall decor to keep the same branding we had going uh, out there in the original set. But one thing, Liam's been bitching about chairs for what feels like 1,500 years. I don't want to say Probably that. since episode six. Yeah. And we just we were sick of just pushing them back in that little corner of the couch. Thank you. And now that we're sitting in chairs, it is nice chairs. We can rotate them a little bit to look at each other. Uh, okay. And it'll be good having you looking like a normal human sitting in the middle. I feel much better. I feel like an adult yeah. now that I can actually stand. Feet yeah. on the ground. <clears throat> Sit. Yeah. yeah. And then the only other thing I'd like to add is I told Broden, I was going to tell Broden a story about last night. I was at the bar and I was telling him this at Walmart earlier today. And then I said, no, I'm going to save it for the podcast. I'll tell you there. So basically we were at the bar last night and uh, my dad came back from the bathroom with this story. And he comes back from the bathroom. He's like, man, the weirdest shit happens to me when I, when I go into the bathrooms at bars. And I was like, okay. And he's like, I went into the urinal or I went into the stall and this other guy went into the urinal so he could, he's like, he was a bigger gentleman. I'll let him have a urinal, more space in there. Right. Which now kind of contradicts a little bit. Stalls is a lot of space, but gave him the urinal anyways. And uh, the guy over the urinal goes European, like the European joke. Yeah. And my dad goes, and you're a pooping. And then he goes, I haven't shit all night. (laughs) And then he's like, okay. So there's a couple seconds of silence. My dad's standing there. And then the guy goes. I'll shit in your mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. He was all shit in your mouth. And when he's telling the story, he's like, he said it like very violently too. So he's like, and I'll shit in your mouth. And he's like, what the fuck? That's really <laughs> gross. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah. So then he walked to the bar, came back, told us that story. And I was like, that is really weird. And then later that night, that guy was like complimenting my ass and telling me how bubbly of an ass I had. And if he could smack it. And I was like, really? This is taking a turn here. This must be the same guy that smacked Dylan on the ass like four times in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Bigger gentleman with a mustache, a handlebar. Uh, yeah. He, uh, almost wore, he almost kind of was wearing been. a hat like Liam's. Could have been. Next time he's there and we're there, I will point him out. Point him out. I will never forget yeah. it. Yeah. Because we were all, it was at uh, sports and standing there and Dylan's like leaning over this table and this guy just gets a handful of Dylan's small ass and so <laughs> yeah, he, half and a he, handful yeah and he Dylan <laughs> looks at us and just like he looks at because the guy petrified kept, like yeah it's going up to, him, yeah. to yeah. dylan and what are you he, doing that he scenario? was saying some weird stuff too yeah he was like really pouring it on yeah and i couldn't smothering dylan with some yeah. yeah and then we're playing pig what a weird night at the bar last night then we're playing pig wheel and these two uh gentlemen that were together not a problem, but they were, you could definitely tell and they're playing pig wheel and they're like, oh my gosh, yes, this is going to be absolute chaos when they're putting their chips on the pig wheel thing. <laughs> oh, like, man. this is chaos. He's like, you got this, bro. I know you got this one. And they kept winning. It was the craziest thing ever. It was like they're ringers. And yeah, the one guy had like a, 
uh, who's the closer that always had the sideways hat? Fernando yeah, Rodney. He looked like Fernando Rodney. He wasn't black, but he had the same hat style. And yeah, it was really, it was really an interesting night for sure. And then this other guy was talking about um, how he had slept with a hundred women this month. And then, yeah, then one of them came up to the table and I understood why. Um, wasn't great looking. Uh huh. And I said, I, you could maybe even get more than a hundred. If you're, if you're picking that well, out some guys <laughs> are quantity over quality. So. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely one of those guys. So, <laughs> and then he started making out with her and try, uh, it was in the middle of the bar. Oh yeah. Oh no way. Yeah. Something you just don't do. There's it, very few times when I think I would spit on people and that would be like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would spit on people doing across that. Across the bar, like two tables away. Like, yeah, like I'd work it up to make some like. <laughs> I'd almost bring my own my home straw and then just do spitballs on. Yeah, it. hit him in the back of the neck. Crazy. Get like a little pellet gun, like for vermin, you know. <laughs> just get out that. of here, you little weasels! The old like uh, see through BB gun that everyone had. Oh, oh airsoft yeah. guns yeah, or like regular the, BB guns? Uh, uh, airsoft. Yeah, yeah. Everyone had that. I swear to God, it was like a Beretta M9 or something like. that. Oh yeah, the little pistol. Yeah, I had a bunch of them. Minus they didn't shoot straight. It was like, <laughs> oh yeah, they're terrible. After like twenty feet, they yeah yeah curving them around doors. Yeah, good. But yeah, that was a little story I wanted to share. Uh, anything else you guys got before we dive yeah. into the Olympics? I mean, do we got comments? We have one. One comment? And one from last week. Yeah. One comment. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. I forgot. I didn't see it last week. Two weeks ago. It was on Japan part one. Let us know how you guys thought about two-part Japan, by the way, too, because that's the first time doing a two-parter. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it was it decent. Well. If like the it. fans like it, we can go more in depth with these topics. Uh-huh. Maybe not every week. We're not going to do Olympics part one, Olympics part two. I barely scraped together a part one. Yeah. I'm sitting on three pages right here. That's all right. Two and a half, a, maybe. This might be a shorter we one. We can a lot of riff. fluff. Oh, we're fluffers. Yeah. We're going to have to. Because, I, yeah. I it's all right. Just didn't have, didn't, don't think I had the tenacity to tackle these Olympic notes here. <laughs> it's all right. It happens. I worked all week. Went. I'm on seven days right now. It's got another, I hear you. Looking at another four the rest of this week, at least. You're okay. And, but you should quit. You're right. <laughs> Actually, Good idea. I didn't think about that. Let me make a phone call real quick. Yeah. Uh, now do you quit live on the show? Yeah. On Call speaker? my boss. If, if hey, you're this, on the podcast. If this show ever, <laughs> yeah, if this makes me more money and grants me more security than my actual career. You'll I do would. it on the show? I would, yeah. It's all do it on the show. Who are you going to yeah. well, Who are you gonna quit to? Ghostbusters, I think, is who you call. <laughs> I've heard. Unreal. Good idea. Anyways, comment. Comment. One comment. On Japan Part 1, it was from Octavio Guerrero, also known as John Paul, JP. Said, uh, That's who that is? Yeah. Oh. That's his his birth name is Octavio. Where'd JP come from? John Paul? I think just to sound more American. Yeah. John Paul, JP. Maybe it's his middle name. Yeah. Would we have like... I really should know. I've known him for a long time. Would I have like a German birth name or something? No, your birth name is your birth name. Oh, yeah, but like he's making it maybe like could Easton I be like be hard for Spaniards, and I would go and give them something easier to throw around in their mouth, you know? Yeah, good for you. I could say hey, Seuss. for Easton. Sure, just slim Why it not? down a little bit. Well, Octavio and John Paul aren't eerily similar. <laughs> I want to be a Heinrich. <laughs> then you want to be a Heinrich? Yeah, Heinrich. <laughs> Broden. <Yeah>. Yep. <laughs> it's I don't German know. for Broden. Is it really? Mm. <laughs> gotcha. All right. <laughs> what the fuck would mine be? If I'm Irish, I'm actually not Irish. I'm four percent. I'm four to seven percent. Connor. Huh? If you were go Irish. from Connor, how do you say, you say Connor in your Irish accent? Corner. It's like you're in the. Where are you sitting? I'm in the corner of the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen pictures of that. Uh, so Octavio said. I hope you like that I came to YouTube to comment on the show because that's who I called out the other oh, week. Yeah. Where I was like, some of our viewers don't know how to use YouTube. Uh, he goes, he says, you guys should do an episode on 9-11. We, we do one on the, we touch on, I think, in the conspiracies episode. Yeah. We didn't do a conspiracy episode yet, though. Did we? No. No. Yeah. 9-11 yeah. is just hard because it's touchy. Very. It's, we could... Hard to do a comedy podcast on a 9-11 topic. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really not. Hey. It's it's not. We could do a comedy podcast on 9-11. Could. Oh, but for sure. Will other people think it's comedy? I would have to go face my friends and family afterwards. Yeah. Oh. I'm I'd not too listening about I was that. Just a boxing match? <laughs> Maybe. Get the ring. Rounds. You know what you did. Get in the ring. Yeah. 
I can't believe you said those things. <laughs> Put the gloves on right now. <laughs> As they're telling you, they're taping off their wrists. I can't believe you said what you said, Liam. You remember what you did last week? I listened to it. <laughs> All those people. And watched. Taping them up. Yeah. Uh, so in light of this episode. In lieu. Ah. I like that. Nice word. I uh, I went full regalia. Mm-hmm. And I threw on the, whatever the hell this is. Uh, hundredth of anniversary the summer games. <laughs> the 100th <laughs> anniversary Olympic shirt from uh, Atlanta. And a matching hat to go with it. Where'd you get those? Go thrifting I, today or you get it? Is it a hand no, me down? Yeah, just today, actually. Yeah. I said, I gotta get that. Stole them. Well, not I, like it was a st- it was a steal of a deal. I stole them off of someone that was at the Olympic Games. He's obviously very frail now. Yeah. Uh, easy, Brittle. Easy match. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the shit out of him. Yeah. He beat up Caitlyn Jenner for... That's, <laughs> yeah. That'll be the new sayings. It's like um, taking Olympic clothing from an old man instead of taking candy from a baby. <laughs> taking clothing. Yeah. It's like man. taking clothing from an old man. <laughs> It'd be hard to get into people's lexicons and become an average saying, but... But once it finally does... Once it, they get it, the context of yeah. like, so, okay, we had an Olympic podcast. I took his clothing. I'm wearing it now. It's going to be like the age old question. Right. <laughs> we just Finally, need a little tread on back, these tires. It, it makes its way around the world. Yeah. So then everyone back. knows it's going to replace taking candy from a baby. Taking clothes from an old man. Babies shouldn't have candy. <laughs> taking if you clothes think about it. off an old man. They really shouldn't. Oh. A lot of them don't even have teeth. Are you going to give a child with no teeth a Jolly Rancher? No, probably a Werther's original, though. Yeah, let them suck on something. Oh, those are good. <laughs> yeah. A cream saver? <laughs> yeah. One of those. <laughs> anyway, here. The Olympics. So, we're going to dive right in. <laughs> like Michael Phelps. Mm-hmm. Nice. That was really good. That was. The Olympic Games are an international athletic festival that originated in ancient Greece and were revived in the late 19th century. They are considered the world's foremost sports competition and include athletes from all over the world. The games are open to all, even top professional athletes in basketball and football, soccer in parentheses here so people don't get confused. There are two main components to the Olympics, the summer games and the winter games. I didn't realize there was a gap. Like it started in ancient Greece and then took like a little hiatus, a little vacation and then came back. Huge gap. And I think it actually took a couple hiatuses. Hi- okay. hi- 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 I, I, would you? I don't know. I don't even I don't know if hiatus is, is a word. If multiple hiatus, hiatuses. Multiple hiatus. Nathan? Hiatus. We need you on that one. Plural of hiatus. It's gonna be, Maybe it's like geese. Guys. Yeah. Moose. Moose and meese. meese. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Hiatus. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Depends where you put the apostrophe, I think. It's got to be. At one of those after apostrophes. Oh, shit. We don't have a mic for Nathan. Um, it's hiatus. Nathan just says. one hiatus. Sorry, Nathan. Okay. So, yeah, there was a there was quite a gap, a substantial, actually, I'd say, because the first Olympic Games took place in 776 BC as part of an ancient Greek festival, which celebrated Zeus, the Greek god of sky and weather. That's a long time ago. Yeah, that's... You think Jesus was the turning point? It got to AD, and they're like, we got to... Can't we keep get, fooling around. Yeah. Bring these back. Bring these. <laughs> I was thinking that's when they stopped them. Wait, BC was before. Jesus before was just. Christ. And then yeah. Christ came and they're like, this guy's we winning everything. To do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy's walking on water. Yeah. We can't compete. One, he's going to beat us in all the games. Yeah. We can't yeah. allow that to happen. This guy's walking across. I'm trying to do the breaststroke. And this guy <laughs> is just <laughs> floating yeah. past me. Running. You think Jesus like what, like actually took steps or he just like stood and like. Does he glide? Glided, yeah. I'm going to say he took steps. I want to say he took steps, obviously, because he walked on water. But how yeah. sick would it be for the rooster tail coming off of Jesus's heels if he was just standing there <laughs> like a jet ski just <laughs> flying behind him? I was you almost see thinking Jesus just whizzing across the ocean. Imagine what he had to do is just get in like the barefoot skiing stance with his feet in the water like this. And, yeah. then, zzz, and then he just, yeah, he's standing there and does it totally motionless. And then just takes off. <laughs> just a slight <laughs> lean backwards. He's yeah. got like three people on his shoulders like they do at the at the water games oh, or whatever. They? Yeah. Um, oh, the syn- choreographed skiers ski- yeah. or yeah. synchronized skiing? skiing? I think so. I was going to say synchronized swimming, but that's for old ladies. Yeah, Not always. Like you went in a synchronized swimming class? Hey. <laughs> League? 
Would they have a league? <laughs> league? I think that's about on par with pickleball. You know, it's old dudes pickleball, synchronized swimming. Old pickleball is blowing up. Yeah, pickleball is blowing up big time. I think there's a lot of people playing pickleball now. It's fun. Yeah, it's a good time. I used it to is. hammer pickleball. Better than tennis, smaller court, I think. But um, we played it in gym class, bro. And we we're in the same gym, mm-hmm. playing it. That's a good time, gym. dude. I was too competitive for gym. I'd have to win. Really? I got yeah. in trouble in gym class when I was playing pickleball. I was yelling after kept I won spank, points. Kept spanking <laughs> all the just going, Let's go. chicks with the paddle. Not me. Yeah. Not you? <laughs> no, but we'll get to that later on. Once we <laughs> You start. spanking chicks with a paddle? No, but oh. I'm sure once we bring up the Olympic Village later on. Okay. There we go. So seven, 770 BC. 776 BC. So... The Olympic Games originated in ancient Greece as many as 3,000 years ago. The first written records of the ancient Olympics date to 776 BC when a cook named Corobus won the only event, a 192 meter, that's 210 yards. What was he doing, cooking all the way? No. Longest patty flip? It was, it a, was the uh, fry cook games. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun. <though. laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been I'm thinking about that lately for some reason. I was trying the fry to cook games. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, I think I really missed my calling. <laughs> no, I was trying to remember that guy's voice when he says it. Oh, yeah. It's like a really announcer, but I can't remember exactly what he says. I couldn't tell you off the The annual fry my... cook games. <laughs> yeah, something. something like that. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's right there. I just, I just need a word for word. Yeah. Did so, you try YouTube? No, I haven't got around to it <laughs> okay. yet. Okay, okay. So we'll show you lately. YouTube upstairs. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> show you how to use YouTube. It's cool. You're going to blow my mind. Yeah, it's like Google, but for videos. So he just stumbled upon it. I'm in. So what? It's, it was, it was a, an actual cook? Yeah, like, a, a cook named Corobus won the only event, a 210-yard foot race called the Stade, to become the first Olympic champion. I wonder why that length... I like how they call it a foot race, too. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Well, yeah. I, horse was, racing or, yeah. Were also events. Yeah. Okay. But that was the first, yeah, the only event they had then, which. I feel like race. I, you you, you want to believe that it just started to like in the neighborhood and you're like, I run faster than you. <laughs> and then they took off. It's just for bragging rights. Yeah. That is a good question. Do you think racing, if I say the word race, is your default automatically go to feet? It depends on where we are. If we're standing on a sidewalk and you go, you want to race? I don't automatically assume that you're talking about bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> but if we're standing. Pull two if, little bicycles out of my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Choose yours. <laughs> um, yeah. Because where would it change? I guess if we were like. If we were. Both on bicycles on the sidewalk. And <laughs> want to race? Then I would immediately assume you probably want to race yeah, bicycles. Yeah. I get off my bike and I'm like, all right, let's go. <laughs> Just <laughs> <been> taking <laughs> off. To run. Check these uh, things down real quick. Yeah. We're in two boats. Like park next to each other. We want to jump race. out and start swimming. Yeah. 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 I guess it should be clarified. Context goes a long ways. It does. Yeah. But we're, I guess I should have figured out how it, I mean, it, this talks about how it started. But that's a funny joke. I don't want to cut it out of the show though. I'll tell it after. <laughs> All right. Are you going to remember? Yeah. All right. Just rem- bring up the race part. <laughs> it's not that. No, it's not that race part. The running race. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> The Olympic Games originated as many as 3,000 years ago. Oh, boy. Read that one. The ancient Olympic Read that one. (laughs) He's commentating what he's doing now. Okay, read that one. Yep, never mind. Moving on. (laughs) The ancient Olympic Games were a series of athletic competitions among representatives of city-states and were one of the Panhellenic Games of ancient Greece. During the celebration of the Games, an Olympic truce was announced so that athletes and religious pilgrims could travel from their cities to the Games in safety. The prize for winning <clears throat> at the ancient Olympic Games was an olive wreath, also known as Cotinos. So like a poor man's gold medal. Yeah. Just all of like the, the fruit. Yeah. Is like it an olive a fruit? It's something. A question. I don't know. Starch. I think it's a part of a glove. You put them on your fingers. It should be. <laughs> you used to do that? Oh, I, I think every time. kid did. Have you tried lately? Don't work. Doesn't I don't. Work. I don't even know the last time I had my hands around a can of olives. Really, you're missing out, dude. I love olives. You use them a lot? No. Sometimes you just eat them raw. You raw down. I could, yeah. Well, only the black ones, huh? Oh uh, man. Yeah, tacos. If I'm if I'm feeling real bougie, then when I'm at the store, I'll get a small can of sliced olives. Oh, you want the tacos? You're I not. Like, you're not slicing. You want. You got the pre-slicers. I just don't. Yeah. I like I green mean, olives better. 
Really? Yeah. Green I'm olives huge... are. Fruit. I feel like green I... olives are people that live under bridges. I don't like green olives. I love them. That's crazy. I, but I Why? like every food. I'm like the least picky food guy. I am too, but I'm not going to put them over black olives. No. Yeah. They're like hand in hand, but he. I think he'd lick mustard out of a sidewalk crack. So I, I'd probably bet that. Yeah, not ketchup. Hates ketchup. Yeah, that's the only food I don't like. Which is crazy. Yeah, it's perplexing. Ketchup. You know, it's such a child's thing. Grow up. <laughs> Quit eating ketchup. You do that when you're six. Why? It's a condiment. Yeah, but it's for you kids. could you could you could say that for anything, and it would not hold. What's up. more childish than ketchup? What do you do? You give a kid Shitting food, my and pants. you're like <laughs> <laughs> bottles. Okay. Bottles, I'd say pacifiers. Do you, you ketchup think, is right there? You think you Why? can waterboard someone that dips their steak in ketchup? Is yes. Frowned upon. People dip another their steak spitting in situation where you'd spit on people. Yeah. I would have to if I was a waiter. I would have to take that plate away and say. You're not going to eat this. You can have chicken tenders, you child. What if it was a close member of your family? So even more. I'd apt. ask them why. Would you, yeah, have a sit down with them? Yeah, I'd say, why are you doing that? What if they're like, I like, it tastes, it's, it's really good for me. To eat. No, you're eating ketchup. You're eating, it's just <laughs> on a steak. Yeah. When you That's eat, right. ah, never mind. That's all right. Are you like, you prefer Heinz 57? I don't put any sauce on it. Me neither, but some as, do. As, is, as a steak should be. If you eat steak, I think if you cook it sauce, right, it's it's be, yeah. People use steak sauce because it tastes like shit. Yeah, it's like I need to cover up the taste of this. Steak. You can use yeah. steak sauce when you go to Applebee's and order a steak, and it's just a piece of leather on your plate. Yeah, but then yeah. it's fine. But at Heinz Fifty Seven is a go-to. That is really yeah. good barbecue sauce for me. Really? Do you like, which kind? I mean, Sweet paper Rays <laughs> is really taking the world by storm. <laughs> Big Deck Barbecue. Ever since I've been introduced to it. But if I have to go corporate, subtle plug. sweet baby rays, yeah. yeah. Famous Dave's has some good barbecue sauces too. And great cornbread. Oh. Yeah. I love cornbread. Yeah, me too. I never have it. Almost it's very seldom. I feel part of that community, you know. The cornbread what community? community? What community? <laughs> yes, the cornbread what, community. What's, what's the cornbread community's second favorite food? <laughs> <laughs> Where would they typically <laughs> reside? Yeah. <laughs> Give me something. <laughs> Hint. Oh, a lot of Olympic athletes. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have a loss of words. So, yeah. I mean, that's the wreath was made from a branch of wild olive tree because, you know, the olives grow on trees and branches. They do? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think they were? Like a vine? Yeah, I put them closer to grapes. No, they're trees. Bush. Olive trees. No. Olive tree sounds, yeah. Tree right here. Olive tree. They grew, <laughs> they grew at Olympia. Yeah, I don't even know what's going In the yeah. mountain? I almost got to see. Nathan, no, you that's Olympus. Oh. Nathan, you pull a picture of an olive tree? I got to see what that is. Isn't the like. olive branch like a peace symbol? Yeah, it's a dove holding an olive branch. Yeah. I thought that's part of government, I thought. Yeah, well, we're the, very peaceful governments. Yeah, we've never dropped atomic bombs on each yeah, other. No. Oh, it's small. Oh, it's, yeah, it's really You small. could almost call that like a bush, I guess, because of the height. It's a, yeah, it's an off ground bush. Yeah. An off crop. <laughs> it's a bush, but it just it's shaves its legs bush. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we know. You think doves like them? You think that's what happens? I don't think doves really give a shit what to eat. I mean, they put rocks in their mouths, so. I suppose. They're the lovebirds, though. Are they lovebirds? If you re- release them from a box at a wedding. I'll be like this dove. Oh, that video? They fly away. <laughs> you seen that? Falls dead? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so the prizes were quite minimal as the honor associated with winning was far more important. So that's why it was just a... If you guys were in the Olympics least. today, would you care more about the gold medal, having it and like hanging it like here on this my wall? Mm-hmm. Or would you just like the bragging rights? Not uh, bragging rights, but just like, yeah, I got a gold Your medal. name's in the history books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the gold medal and yeah. then 20 years later when I'm really broke... And struggling, I'll sell it for like 800 bucks for some heroin or something. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, that's I feel like that's my thought, game it seems plan. Like you thought that out. Yeah, if you're just walking around talking about it, that's, I think it's kind of weird. That's not yeah. what you do it for. I mean, you could do it for whatever fucking reason you want. I don't give a shit. You're an Olympic athlete, but it's a you got to close the yearbook eventually. Yeah. Yeah. If you're at the bar hammered what every if you weekend would? and you're like, you know, I won an Olympic gold medal one time, you're like, Get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah, I'd probably unzip my coat and show it. Well, would you keep it on your person at all times? Yeah, on yeah. your person. I like that. Use it as a coaster. 
You yeah. set it down. <laughs> I'd use it as a coaster while it's on my neck and just like, didn't just somebody like hunch down? There was some uh, celebrity golf match recently, wasn't there? Someone used it as a mark for their tee or ball on the green. I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. I can't remember who it was. That's kind of cool. That's, That's a flex. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. I mean, you've kind of earned bragging rights. Do that. Rights. Yeah. I'd be pissed though if he marked his ball and my ball was behind it. Now you gotta. Like, I gotta putt over that uh, ant hill. Fat, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I never, yeah, I never ripped a note on the actual medals. Should have done that. That's all right. Well, we'll do that on part two. Need some readers? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you ever find your glasses? Nope. Damn. Gone. The ancient Olympics had fewer events than the modern games, and only freeborn Greek men were allowed to participate, although they were victorious women chariot owners. Sounds like very Hitler-y, you know, only like to certain group of people. Yeah. Yeah. And early on MLB. Just oh. Americans? Yeah. Yeah, white guys. Yeah. Yeah, strictly. Yeah, and that was strictly white Greeks. Yeah. Ancient Olympics, yeah, fewer events in modern. Only freeborn Greek men were allowed to participate. I'm not sure what that means. Freeborn, yeah. Is that kind of like a free chicken? Free roaming? What are the free chickens range chickens? Free range, yeah. Probably on par with... Dude, it's probably slavery. <laughs> freeborn? If you're not born free, you're enslaved. <laughs> That's very true. Let's yeah. So they don't let any slaves in the Olympics. Yeah. Or former slaves. Retired? Mm. Yeah, because if you were even I don't born, think you retire from slavery in seven hundred and seventy six BC. You get out. Yeah. You get crushed by a two ton stone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wasn't there. Who knows? Cool. So basically the <laughs> slave owners are the ones running in these races. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the they, slaves... Did everywhere have slaves back then? I yeah. Think so. I think so. Everybody had, you know, their toes dipped in the water back then when it yeah. came to slaves. Was it all racial? Like, were the slaves... Obviously, the slaves in America were African-American, but, like, in Greece, was it, like, just dark-skinned people? It was or probably was it, just... What if it was just, like, men, white men, If but if you're under 5'6", you're enslaved. <laughs> and it's everyone it's all over the six tolls. foot. Yeah, all the... All the talls bossed around the smalls. Yeah. yeah. That would be something I could get behind because then I could be bossing people around. Five, good. six. Yeah. That's a lot. Like, I think that's what uh, uh, Willy Wonka did or tried to do. Yeah. Didn't you say oh. that he imported them from somewhere? Yeah. From this, some jungle. It, it was, yeah. <laughs> They're living in the trees. They're, yeah. They're neon orange walking <laughs> around with, with green hair. Yeah. It was the white Wookies. overalls. It was. Yeah. Ewoks is what it was. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, the ancient Olympic Games included a variety of events. There were four running events, all of which consisted of predetermined number of laps in the stadium. In one race, the athletes wore armor and carried a shield. There were also jumping events where athletes used stone or lead weights called halteers to increase the distance of their jumps. That doesn't make any sense. They used weights to increase, to their increase the distance? I don't know. If Maybe they like, train with the weights. That would make sense. But I wasn't... Something's not adding up right there. Other events included discus throw, where the discus was originally made of stone and later on iron, lead, or bronze. Boxing, where boxers wrapped straps around their hands to strengthen their wrists or steady their fingers. Wrestling, where an athlete won after he forced his opponent's hip, shoulder, or back to the ground three times. And pancreation, a combination of wrestling First and one boxing. to remove the other's pancreas. Yeah, first yeah. one to find the pancreas. <laughs> Rip it out, Kalima. What do you got, Nathan? Pancreation? Slaves in yeah. Greece. So there were like African slaves the same as the United States, but it was different because they didn't view them with racial pre- or racial prejudice. It was just like if they beat somebody in war, everybody that they beat is now a slave. Like it's not like just black people, it's whoever. It was whoever got the hands, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoever lost the battle, you're a slave now. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. I like that. You know? It's yeah, they're not Survival racist. Of the fittest, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's like we're better than you. I guess if you were to we're pick, higher up on the food chain, pick a form of slavery. I mean, that's yeah. one of the better <laughs> yeah. ones. You know, I think. if the like, lesser of all the evils. Yeah. Exactly. They worked for it. It's not like they just cap- exactly. They yeah. gave them a chance, right? I mean, like boo war. slavery, but less boo that one. Yeah, at least they earned it. Yeah, he had a hundred boos to give out. You know, I'd, I'd find some less. other ones first. Yeah. yeah. That kind of sounds like the whole Kanye ordeal. 
The Jews? What's his ordeal? <laughs> Have you not been keeping up with that? No. I heard about it. Something about, yeah, like, he's he's saying something about, like, just... He didn't like Jewish Jew- people until he watched 21 Jump Street. Yeah, and then he realized Jonah Hill was Jewish. Yeah, and he saved it. So Jonah Hill really saved. Shout out to Jonah Hill. For- he's the gap between racism, I guess. He's bridging it. <laughs> the liaison. Yeah. No, there was something. I don't know. I'll tell you about it later. I always think you said discus on there. It's crazy looking at the Olympic athletes and realizing what they look like. I've always thought it'd be cool if you could, during all the Olympics, they have these athletes and then you have, you plug in like an average man. I would heat yeah. against. So it's like eight lanes realize. and a hundred yard dash. Seven of them are Olympic athletes and one is Liam Owens. Yeah. And then it's like, we see the difference of what we're actually watching. Yeah. You see these fast ass people running and they're like split seconds apart. Pretty Get cool. a layman in there, you yeah. know? I'm in there. Yeah. They should fly me out. Or like, I would absolutely love to do like that. Like discus. You're yeah. doing all of them. Yeah. You're I will, swimming. I will do every single yeah. one. If there's anyone that's going to do it, I mean, why not me? Yeah. I'm, I'm moderately active. I have a decent which is, lifestyle. Which is good. You don't want to be too active because then we get too close to yeah. them. Yeah. I, f- I feel like I'm about on the, the poster child of average. You, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I'm really, I'm really just right Super there. average. Greatest I'm, average I'm, American. I'm, I'm six foot, 195. Pretty average. You know? Yeah. I'm not very Moderately tall. active. You yeah. play softball. I play softball on Thursdays. You I golf from time to time. Golf here and there. You're I, probably not going on runs. You're, not you're very in, often. You're in yeah. decent shape, but like you're not too good a shape. Definitely. To where yeah. like, it, yeah. I'm, I'm who we do we contact? Us. The Olympics. Zeus, it sounds like they did yeah. it for him until, yeah, until later on in the notes. Then we find out, yeah, who. um, yeah, because I think it'd be super interesting to see even like javelin, like how far these guys throw on that pole versus how far I could throw that pole. Yeah, it's gotta be crazy. Here's Michael Phelps, I'm gonna make it two events and I'm gonna tear something, <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole thing's gonna be that's why they need a lot. Of, that's why I used to like to show pros versus Joes, man. Yeah. That was the greatest show on TV. I forgot about that show. Pros I versus have, Joe's. I might have missed that show. I don't know if I ever saw it. Wow. They take a professional athlete, yeah, football, and then an average Joe, and they'd compete in a football competition. So you would win. How would you do what? Like throwing? Or what? There's a bunch of different Catching? ones. Yeah. There's soccer, there is football, baseball, all of it. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. I should, Pros I should catch some Joe's. reruns of that. That would actually be wild. Yeah, that would be fun. I, I used to watch that when I was like 10 years old, man. That was a long time ago. I wonder where I could find it. Or there was a... Yeah, find out where we can watch Pros vs. Joe's. <laughs> uh, Bully Beatdown. Do you guys oh, yep. that? It was on the same channel. What yeah. channel was that? Spike. It had to be... Was it Spike? Was it Spike I thought TV? it might have been MTV. Oh, I want to say it was Spike TV. It probably oh. aired on both. I mean... Yeah. Could be. I don't want to say it was Comedy Central. At least for no. Bully Beatdown, maybe. Pros vs. Joe's was not Comedy Central. No, definitely not. But I'd say Spike. All right. Yeah, well. Bully Beatdown was a sweet show. Apple TV, Amazon, Hulu. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm watching that tonight. Pay. It doesn't That's even okay. matter. You don't have to pay for any no. sort of TV. <laughs> Jailbroken, baby. Allegedly. Yeah. This is up to speculation. Nothing's free. Yeah. The games were revived, so we're now we're jumping. So we went from... <laughs> 70, 76? 776 BC. Too. And then I think uh, somewhere when I was reading, they put a kibosh on it for a while. And put a lid on it. Yeah. Something about the whole Zeus thing. Was the Colosseum? What was that? That was Rome. way before. That was in Rome. Yeah. That, that was where they the used lions to kill slaves and prisoners and minorities. I thought they just said that they were in like a... They weren't working for like an olive like tree though, right? No, in Coliseum. They yeah. were working to stay alive. Yeah, that See was tomorrow. like gladiators. That was... Why were they doing that? Let's do an episode on ancient Rome. We'll talk about it then. Yeah. Absolutely. I think they do it just because for entertainment, strictly. Yeah. Okay. It was barbaric back then. You guys watch the show Dave? I watched, I watched the first season, yeah. Yeah, I'm caught up. Is the the next one's airing now, ain't it? The season? Yeah. Did you watch Met Gala? That's the latest episode that came out last Thursday. No, I'm waiting until okay. they all come the out. Season's so on right now. Three. Really? Yeah. Let me know when you watch that because uh, there's part of the Met Gala thing that I thought was pretty funny that ties into that. But maybe I've seen. I won't spoil it for season you. Two. I have no idea. So the games were revived in the late 19th century and have been have become the world's pre preeminent sporting competition. The first modern Olympics took place in 1896 in Athens. Greece. Greece. That's Paris. That's Atlanta. 
and uh, and featured 280 participants from 12 nations competing in 43 events. Since 1994, the Summer and Winter Olympic Games have been held separately and have alternated every two years. Which one do you guys like more? I got to go summer. Summer games. Think so? Yeah. Well, how much do you care about the luge? That's really what you have to ask yourself. I can't say I've ever watched it. Is that like, the bobsleds? I think the only times that people ever watch yeah. the winter games cool is when Sean White was doing his thing. Yeah. Well, it's not cool running. That's the bobsled, but the luge is when they lay on that board. Oh, yeah. And they go that's like 200 freaking. miles an hour. Yeah. Down to just an ice tunnel. Like, that's what I think about it. Like, people are like, favorite Summer Olympics or winter? And I'm like, ah, do I care about the luge? I think the half pipe that they do in snowboarding. Hockey. Yeah. Hockey's but- it's cool. They don't even play like NHL. I don't even think they have played in the Olympics for however many years. NHL, NHL? players, yeah, yeah, they because there the season's going on. Yeah, it's right in the shit. middle. It's right in the middle of the season. Oh, then who cares? So like some play, some don't. Yeah, because uh, now they have like the World Hockey Cup. But I always like the summer because you got ping pong. Ping pong's fun to watch. They have ping Electric. pong in the Olympics? Yeah. Oh yeah, they got you shitting me. They got wrestling, ping pong, don't t- care uh, regular that. tennis. Maybe uh, I don't care about summer that much either. All the track. Swimming. Track, track and summer? field. Yeah. Swimming. Track and field. That's what I like to watch. Yeah. 100 yard dash. Ah, God, I don't know. Because Winter Olympics is fun too with the uh, the speed skating. Speed skating is wild. That's fun. Snowboarding, I don't care about. Um, basketball is in the Winter Olympics, I think, isn't it? Or Cross no? country skiing. Basketball yeah. in the Winter Olympics? I don't know. Basketball is in the Olympics. I think it's. Maybe it's summer. It's probably summer. Yeah. Have to be. But. I yeah. can't remember if baseball's Running. back yet. I think baseball is back in the Olympic there Games. There was something in here on the notes, but I never checked it. I think they it was put it, it back. was removed for a while. It was. I think they put it back. Yeah, they might. They must have. Yeah, because there was a, a Twins pitcher that was pitching in it. I'm gonna get a list of the uh, Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan really? pitched in the Olympic Games. Summer Olympic sports. Here we go. Sorry, Nathan, I'm taking your job just because there's no mic. Um. So they got soccer, basketball, golf, water polo, fencing, volleyball. Volleyball, I like watching. Sand volleyball. Yeah, beach volleyball is those when it's two on two. That's they, crazy. That's supreme athleticism. Oh, gymnastics. How do we miss that? Oh, good grief. Archery, my probably my favorite here, equestrian sports. Um, rowing. That's horses, Nathan, if you didn't know. Yeah. Trap shooting, <laughs> weightlifting, badminton, judo. Uh, field hockey, handball, boxing, track and field. So, yeah, I'd probably say uh, track and field and track and field and um, fuck, what's the other one I said? Gymnastics are probably my favorite. Yeah, gymnastics is electric. I don't know why I like it so much. The Just seeing them flip around the crazy. bars. Yeah. The beam, the one, the balance beam yeah. or whatever they do. When yeah. they do like double backflips on that and land with their feet. Like you have to walk the sobriety line. <laughs> that That's is insane. Nuts. That is, yeah, it's like. Hardly it's any like four wider inches than your wide. Foot. Yeah. Which is a lot. It Ooh, four, it's substantial. Yeah. What's the one where the guys are riding that horse? Polo. P- no, p- plummel horse. Plummel horse. Plummel horse. It's just like a horse's back and then they're spinning around it like this. <laughs> what? You guys have never seen That's them. So they're, the they're like trying to kick flip a horse? It's in is, gymnastics. On a horse. It's a horse's back. It's like yay big. Oh, it's a is saddle. It actually in gymnastics? Yeah, it's the pummel horse. But pummel? Pummel, pump, yeah. Like if I'm gonna go out in the back and pummel you, yeah, <laughs> you could do it up front. Pommel, <laughs> the pommel, pommel horse. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like a horse's back. It'd be cooler if it did, but <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's close you, enough. That's I. <laughs> that's what you like. How about the? How about the? You totally the, had me looking. I thought that I thought that was an actual event. They got a wild horse, and people were just trying oh, to stay on it. First you, one to tame it. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's exactly what I thought. Was you thought it was a real horse. Yeah. What's the easiest animal to tame? You think if you had to pick a, a snake, if you're Indian, <laughs> true. Have you seen them? You got to know how to. Flutes? You got to know how to play the flute, though. Yeah, they just I mean, vibing with years. the sound waves, and then they just it's all frequency. That's what the snakes do. Okay, but you're not Indian, so what's your next go to? Turtle. Oh, I caught a baby turtle this weekend. It has to be baby turtle, like ba- like that big around. Was it on the beach? Uh, no, it was in the middle of the driveway at the cabin. And then I picked it up to catch. Um, no, it (laughs) it up like it's a wild bird. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but it's so, it's so tiny. It was so cool looking. It was a painted one. So it's belly was all red and speckle bellied. And what'd you do with it? 
Um, well, before I put it on the beach, I didn't want to put him in the river just in case he wasn't ready to go yet. Yeah, I can't swim. But I got him, you know, on the shore. But before I did that, I dropped him. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> dropped him. Thought he was dead for a little bit. But uh, turns out he landed just had, on his shell. Yeah, landed. He did. He tucked real quick. I could see it. He, <laughs> he was flying like this, and all of a sudden he's flying like this. And he picked him up, poked his head, and he did that. I was like, okay, he's good. So I put him on the beach, and we named him Cornhole, short for Cornelius. Short. Sure. That's fair. <laughs> I, I probably, yeah, because there's two. When you said wild bird, I was thinking things you could catch. That should be an Olympic sport, by the way. Things you could catch you with your bare catch. hands. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I wonder if I could catch a bird with my bare hands ever. Oh, yeah. And then I thought, if I'm taming something, a fish would be pretty easy. They bite anything. Yeah, but you can't tame it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. You can't, like... You know, turtles can feel What is? Shell. Yeah, I was giving it scratches. Yeah. What does taming mean? Like, I I can ride it? Domesticate it. Would have to be keen. Yeah, it'd have to be, like, obedient, maybe. Yeah. You can obedientize a fish? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. It'd have to be, like, a dolphin, but that's not a fish. Yeah. I don't know. What? Maybe you could. Dolphins I mean, you could, you could probably... Teach it tricks. You can't teach an old all, dolphin all, new tricks. All the dolphins are so smart. All the water animals that they teach though aren't fish. They're mammals. Yeah. So it well, doesn't it doesn't really uh, count. Dolphins you know? are fish. Let's just say that. It looks, if it looks like a fish, yeah. We'll if it's fish. lives in the ocean, it's a fish. We're gonna say fish. Okay. All Seaweed. Right. Fuck. Seaweed's not a thing. We're talking animals. Yeah. Oh, animals. Uh not sea living cucumber. organisms. And a sea urchin. Categorized as, is it a fish? Uh, it's. Fair, I'm gonna name something, and you fishy. say, is it it's a not, fish? Oh, you can't say it's fairly fishy. Look <laughs> at it. It's yeah. It's around a lot, though. What do you mean around a lot? A like, fish. It, like it is round. Like, yeah. Because if you drop me like in, let's say, Mexico, uh-huh. and you just left me there for a while, ten, I'd fifteen have to start years, calling you a fish. I'd start to be a little Mexican, right? Maybe. Yeah, you'd probably pick up on some of the... Kind of like the sea urchin. It's been around so many fish. It's like, I'm part fish now. I don't even think what that thing What if the fish are getting eyes. more sea urchin? It's true. What 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 are more? What? Are there... Are there <laughs> <laughs> what are more? Yep. Or what? M- more Go urchins on. or more fish? I'm not sure. More fish. Okay. After all the destruction on the Great Barrier Reef, sea urchins are on yeah. the decline. Is coral a fish? Sea urchins are on the decline. <laughs> like he's a sea urchin special. We need to get t-shirts made. So we just have to start raising awareness. Yeah. And then for sea there, urchins. Nothing. Yeah. Now we, you guys are aware. Now we take all the There are urchins. And we buy a rules. <laughs> That's the piece of merch. There are urchins. <laughs> Beware. The urchins. The urchins. Yeah. Just shorten it. That's our merch, our merch piece for this week. There are urchins. <laughs> And we will not. We will do nothing about it. <laughs> and we won't stop until you know <laughs> that there are raising awareness for the urchins. Yeah. All right. All the the they probably urchin. appreciate trying, that. I keep trying to think. Searching. Oh, searching, searching for, for the urchins. urchins. Searching for urchins. <laughs> searching nice. for urchins. <laughs> oh. Well, there we go. Merch is in the bio. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. We got to the urch merch. <laughs> I got the urge for the urge. Uh, Man. New events have been added to the Olympics throughout its history. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, has often included one of the more demonstration sports, normally to promote a local sport from the host county, country, or to gauge interest in an entirely new sport. Some sports, like baseball and curling, were added to the official Olympic program in 1992 and 1998. Curling's kind of fun, Winter Olympics. I got a crazy curling story. Yeah? My, she shared on the show? I might have already. I have no idea. But my great uncle was on the USA Olympic curling team. And every great curler from then until now, now knows about his legendary story of the Labonte curse. The Labonte curse. The Is Labonte this- curse. Oh, is Broden in on this? Do you dun, know the Levante dun. curse? I've heard it. Ooh. Okay, so what is it? Can I hear it or is this like a exclusive group? <clears throat> Twas a summer night long ago. During the Winter Olympic Games, they were curling. 
It's my great start. my great uncle was there. He was on the Olympic team. And John Labonte. Just about <laughs> no, Bob. Mm. Bob. His name Bob Labonte? Bob Labonte. <laughs> That's a fake name. <laughs> yeah, it is. Real as shit. Nathan, look up the Labonte curse right now. It's on Google. It's on a Wikipedia page. Holy. I might have just made that up. But it's there. Okay. And uh so they were just about to beat Team Canada. I think he might have been playing for Team Canada. They were just about to beat somebody. And he jumped up in celebration as he was as they were winning because the last stone. Bobby Labonte right there. Did you look up the Labonte curse? You will now. Anyways, just about to win. Just about to win. And he jumped up in the air. And when he came back down, his feet slipped out from under him. And he kicked one of the stones out of place. And since it was it was live ball, they it they, it counted. He kicked the stone out of place and they lost. They would have took gold. So he slipped and yeah, wow, slipped in the yeah because they're out. wearing those tap shoes, right? I have no idea what yeah. kind of regalia they have to wear for that sort of they thing. They look like tap that was shoes. probably on Shaq's and Charles Barkley's little. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> yeah, Shaq in a fool. Yeah, I know it's a thing. I just yeah, that's crazy. Is it on Wikipedia? How did Bobby Labonte, your it's uncle? It's also. Oh, yeah. It's a big thing. Like, I'm pretty sure it gets brought up like every other Winter Olympics. Why? Yeah. How did your Uncle Bobby get into mine? There's a, there's like a big curling club here in town. Like a lot of people from Minot compete. Yeah, I know. In, it's, I don't know. I wouldn't know na- nationwide. They're probably not talking about Minot Curling Club. They might be. They're like, it's pretty <laughs> prominent, I guess, in the world of curling. The curling? Yeah. yeah. I didn't Fuck, know that. But like over at the fairgrounds where they do it, uh, like... Were Some they great names have passed through these <laughs> halls. <laughs> Bobby Labonte. That's fun. Bobby. Yeah. There's another piece of merch. The you Labonte ever met him? curse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. you guys are like, you open gifts together. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, is but he still around? Family, is he still with yeah. us? Yeah, here it is. So I, I got to do it justice and actually read it off the article. The curse of Labonte was a curse in curling. It was caused by an incident at the finals of the 1972 World Curling Championships for Men, the 1972 Air Canada Silver Broom in Garmisch Partenkirchen, Germany. You could have just said Germany. Yeah. <laughs> could have been. Yeah. In Barmen Karnstapostisch. Par- Par- Partenkirchen. So, so Parmesan, Germany. Yeah. <laughs> the Canadian team, skipped by a name I'm not going to say was playing the American team skipped by Robert Labonte in the finals. Canada had been undefeated up until this point, but it was down by two points in the last end. Uh, some guy, it's hammer, final shot at the end. When it was time for him to shoot, the Americans had shot rock on the bottom, on the button, while Canada was sitting in the second shot right next to it. You know, the U.S. was sitting third rock with a rock biting the eight foot. There's a lot of curly hair going here. Yeah, yeah, I am not picking up any of it. Should have had Bobby Labonte on Let's the show. Let's get to the meat here, though. Yeah, we're biting down on the bone right now. Melishuk's rock made the hit, and it proceeded to roll into the eight foot. When it stopped, it was close to being second, but the Americans thought otherwise. And U.S. third, Frank Assand, jumped into the air to celebrate. In the meantime, Canada's third, Dave Romano, was still investigating which rock was second rock, and thus whether or not Canada had scored two or tie just for the loss. While Romano was looking, Labonte jumped in the air to celebrate as well but slipped and accidentally kicked the Canadian stone. The Americans never admitting to kicking the Canadian rock, so Romano asked for a measurement, which was in the rules, and the measurement showed Canada was second shot. It was not obvious he was second shot prior to Labonte kicking the stone, this and that. So, so the so. Americans kicked the rock first, and then Labonte kicked it, so he's like, I'm not admitting to that. They, I it's, thought they were playing against the Germans. It oh, was in, in Germany, Germany, the World Curling Canada Championships. Had been up it to was the, point, yeah. the year after the World... The, Oh, so it wasn't the Olympics, but no, might as well have been. It was right after the Bobby Labonte and the Labonte curse. I like that world dodgeball championship. So yeah, they, they <laughs> got the rocks close to each other and then Bob Labonte kicked the stone, but didn't admit it. And so they asked for a measurement. And so after the measurement, it showed that Canada's was closer. The Labonte curse. Crazy. And you're related to it. Yeah. Good for you. Just goes to show, don't don't premature. Uh, don't yeah, don't celebrate. pre-jack or nothing. Don't celebrate. <laughs> don't pre-jack when you're celebrating. Yeah. The team. More than thirty new additions. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! 
have stuck around since the Olympics of the modern age started in 1896 in Athens. This year's Olympic Summer Games in Tokyo saw five new sports added to the program, skateboarding, climbing, surfing, karate, and baseball and softball. Throughout history, the most popular Olympic sports have varied. According to one ranking, the top 10 most popular Olympic sports are gymnastics, swimming, athletics, track and field, weightlifting, basketball, soccer, volleyball, and judo. Judo's in the top 10? Damn. I guess so. It's probably, it's probably important 10. over there in the... Judo the, places. Uh, well, yeah, the Asian countries. Yeah. yeah. I don't, That's a lot of people, though, when you get over to Asia. Yeah. Too many. I don't think we do a lot of judo here. I guess I've never actually watched the Judo Olympics. Don't care to. No. It'd probably be, I don't know, might be a little crazy. There's, I could. I'd watch. Pick if it from was a on. tree, more sports I'd rather. Yeah. Judo chop. Judo chop. Yeah. Gymnastics would be sick, though. Gymnastics is fun. I forgot about swimming. Why I is, like swimming, too. Michael Phelps went on just a crazy tear. Yeah. Why is basketball the most favorite? Because it's just a powerhouse. The United States just beats every team by 50. Yeah. It's like the mitochondria. I think yeah. that's probably why. Just so they can watch the U.S. slam on everybody. They don't anymore now, though. Yeah, really? There's like maybe the dream team. Did you have that on there? Uh-uh. The dream team for basketball? Yeah. Oh, man. Who was it? Was it like? Well, Jordan, Charles Barkley, Christian Lautner was on there. Um, what's the other? Isaiah Thomas did not make it. Really? Who yeah, else? Jordan said, if there. he's not on the team, I'm not playing. Um, I don't know. Bird, probably Larry Bird. Yeah. Um, Sick. Got it. Yeah. Larry yeah. Legend, Michael they, Jordan. They beat everybody by 30 points. Yeah. I least. think their, their closest game was 30 points or something like that. Right. Yeah. How about like the last uh, to World Baseball Classic, that team from, um, was it the Czech Republic team? was just full of like electricians Garbage and men. plumbers. Yeah. And, Serious? And there was a, a dude, he was well, throwing. Do you know like, any Czech Republican baseball players? Czech Republic baseball? Czech Republican? Czech. <laughs> Czech Democratic? Czechian? Czechian? Czechian. 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 But uh, they Czechian? they were just full of like random guys that tried out for the team and they made it. And some dude struck out Shohei Otani by never throwing faster than 81 miles an hour. No way. Yes. And he was an electrician. That was his trade. Sheefus balls. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Sheefus. All right. What else you got there? Liam. You're really struggling to see that pit. You got contacts Dude, in? I took him out. I took the one out. I was in a rush. So I left the one in. So you're, oh, that's wear, why you're going no, pirate, Liam? He doesn't even have... I don't know. Seeing oh. <laughs> I have great vision. According to a 2021 survey. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> feel, bad, feel bad for you guys. Could have fooled me. Yeah. Oh, well, let me see your glasses. Oh, you don't have any. Yeah, you stole them. I obviously need them. <laughs> Clearly. According to that survey in 2021 in the United States, the most followed summer Olympic sports among fans were artistic gymnastics, 35% of global respondents. Swimming, 34%. Rhythmic gymnastics, 28%. Diving, 25%. And basketball, 22 So all water-based. Yeah. I forgot about diving when they jump from like the 50-meter thing. Those dude, are fun too, yeah. That, that is, is so freaky. high. I could never. Would you guys do that? 50 meters up, dude? Oh. That's like over 150 feet. Good math. Would you do like cliff diving if we were in Brazil? Maybe. That, yeah. Up to how high? 10. 20 meters. <laughs> 20 meters max. So. How many yards okay. would that be? Yeah. 20. It's pro- probably like 25 yards. So if you had the choice, if I, if I was like, bro, and you have to jump from 50 meters, it can either be off of this flat diving board, the Olympics, or off a cliff in Brazil. What are you picking? Brazil. Every time. Just because of the peer pressure you think you're on that cliff or what? Oh, uh, no. Nah, because I think they'd expect me to perform at the Olympics. You know, there'd yeah, be like at a, the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> well, so in Brazil, I could just land them a butt or something, you know, that would hurt Get a water your animal. Ass is so bad. Yeah. That would <laughs> just shoot right up. Might probably you would die. That was on. You remember that old show? A thousand ways to die. Yeah. yeah. Somebody die. died from that. Yeah. They hit You're the, supposed they to hit go the like water feet butthole for, first. Yeah. I don't know if that's there's a movie. completely accurate. Dude, you did <laughs> Do you think all of those episodes are real ways you people think die? they lie on TV? Yeah. We don't lie on here. They can't lie on TV. <laughs> there's no fluff added. Everyone signed the internet agreement yeah. signature. Yeah. 
whatever it is. It's like the first commandment for Moses was don't, don't do that. For Moses. <laughs> I thought it was two of each animal on the ship. That was Noah. Oh. Uh, but uh same <laughs> same family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess I'd I'd go right after you. Why not? If hey, you see if, if I were crazy to break the to ice. Do it, yeah. Why not, dude? If I was dumb enough, you guys are dumb enough. Like how right after him though? Like he jumps you. I'd wait for him to come back up to the surface and be like, ah, oh, he's all right. Yeah. No. And then I just he does it hurt? And I'd be like, don't use your ass. Like he'd jump <laughs> like this, like facing backwards, and I'd jump forward, like you know, so how land. 69 in the middle of the air. <laughs> like going down in the, the water middle of the slide. air. Yeah. You get in trouble for it at the water park. Yeah. You gotta declothe the person on the way down. It's a, it's a rush. <laughs> That's a new Olympic sport. I was gonna ask what new what new Olympic sport should there be? Yeah, I was thinking a, uh, cliff jumping, sex having, cliff sixty nineing, yeah, <laughs> air sixty nineing. No, you've seen like in like fucking Mexico or Japan or somewhere when they're playing baseball with bottle caps now, and they're throwing. Oh them, yeah, they're, they're just curving something, and they're hitting it with like a broomstick. I'd like a mix of like cricket with something that's more fun than cricket. So I like the thought of cricket, like you're throwing a ball at a person and they got to block it. Yeah. But I just don't like how cricket games can go for 39 days straight. Right. Cricket in the Olympics, I wonder. They'd have to switch up like the base paths and you, you'd you have to. This is an interesting dynamic. Do a, Liam a different order. You know what I mean? Yeah. We could talk about stuff that's. Good Lord. <laughs> We're going to have to fix that. <laughs> Taking a quick break because uh, Liam just kicked the cameras everywhere. Can All right, do? let's get back into talking about our own version of cricket in three. Well, we don't have to have a clean cut. I'll just, give you a clean cut so you know. But I don't know where to cut it. Okay. What's the time stamp? No, I don't know where to previously, cut it previously because yeah, I don't know what we were talking about when Liam kicked the fucking camera. <laughs> it still looks off. Is it good? Oh. It's fine. Oh, it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're back from Liam's... This fucking Janikowski punt of the <laughs> tripod. Uh, I don't even want to talk about cricket, bro. Fuck that. Move on. <laughs> just pissed now. Well, Where I was go? like, I don't even know what I had to add to cricket. I, nothing, really. It's a boring fucking sport. I think we should take the least aggressive sport and mix it with the most aggressive sport. I think so, too. So okay. what would that be? Swimming versus... Swimming to boxing. boxing. You have to drown boxing. the other person. Underwater boxing. They're so slow. Yeah. <laughs> Telegraph you your punches. Do? That would be tough. Curling and swimming. Curling. How'd you do that? <laughs> you <curl> Splash. <laughs> just just throw them in the water. <laughs> Is that going to work? It's You'd have to be Jesus. <laughs> Slide the <laughs> curl. Jesus holds all the gold medals in that one. Yeah. Oh. Man, that's funny. The title of most decorated athlete ever belongs to United States swimmer Michael Phelps who won 28 medals competing in five different summer Olympics from 2000 to 2016. He won 23 medals, 23 gold medals, three silver medals, two bronze medals, earning a total of 28 and becoming the most decorated Olympian. And a huge underbite too. Did he? Oh yeah. I don't know. You swim with that thing. Yeah. I never, Sean I never Connery. noticed. How do you not notice? I got, well, Biggest was, underbite I've ever. That was a long time ago. That's probably yeah. why he was so water dynamic. I'm surprised he wasn't collecting water in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe he was. Slid right across the chin. <laughs> <laughs> the crimson chin. The crimson yeah, he's a pretty chin. good swimmer. Isn't yeah. it crazy that like we we swim to survive like when we're in bodies of water and he just does it for fun? He's just vibing. Yeah. yeah. I can't tread water very well. Can really? swim great. Not yeah, not not spectacular. I'm better floater it. than I am swimmer. I don't move very fast in the water. I used to swim. I used to be Semi decent at it. Yeah. You I've were never, in like a swim club? Yeah. Back in like middle school, whatever it was. Like school, school sanctioned swim? Yeah. Like part of the Jim, Jim Hill, Hill swim Jim team? Jim Hill swim team, yeah. Really? Yeah. Did okay for myself. Nice. Didn't drown, which is good. Were you forced on that? Like, did your Probably. parents, like, you're yeah. going to do this this year? Sink I think maybe, swim, I think maybe my, some of my buddies were doing it. I was like, uh, whatever. I yeah. Need something to do. Because, you know, we were all those kids. I mean, at least I was. Like, like played every sport. Yeah. I did, up until I did everything got, when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Tried like, soccer for a year. Same. Running. A lot. I did that a few years when I was a kid. Yeah. 
The most decorated winter Olympian is Norway's Merit Borgen with 15 medals in cross-country skiing and has earned eight gold medals, four silver medals, three bronze medals. Other highly decorated winter Olympians include Norway's Oli Einar Bjorndalen, who earned 13 medals in biathlon. You took a fun stab at that, Bjorndalen. Yeah, Bjorndalen. Yeah, you threw a little Dalen. Yeah. A my, little uh, Norway. My nephew's name is Bjorn. Really? Yeah. Dalen? Is he an Olympic athlete? <laughs> Not yet, but maybe one day. Bjorn. So how do you spell that? B-J-O-R-N? Mm-hmm. Yep. Bjorn. You call him BJ for short? No. That's Beach. It. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up Beach? What's up, you little Beach? <laughs> I'm going to call him that if I ever see him, if I run into him. You won't. Run into him? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You, you live could. in Norway? I live in Fargo. Oh. The Close. Norway of North Dakota? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The most decorated American winter Olympian is short track speed skater. Apollo, Apollo Ono. Anton, uh, yeah, Apollo Anton Ono. Oh, he's throwing his middle name in there. Yeah, we're on a... Apollo Ono, man. He was Apollo sick. Ono. He was like a short track, too. Wasn't yeah. there a, a little <laughs> scandal with him or something? Yeah, there's some... PDs or Couldn't have been drugs. any worse than... I think they should all use Michael PDs. Michael Phelps smoking an ounce. Yeah. Drug Which addicts. I mean, like, who cares? The IOC... Apparently, yeah. Cared. Obviously. <laughs> but I mean, out of every, everything that, I mean, if you're going to bust someone for PEDs, if this, if this guy's got a neck full of 28 gold medals, yeah, and maybe he wants to smoke a little J in Live the off season, yeah. yeah, go it's, ahead. Uh, it's not making him any better. Do you remember the Winter Olympics a couple of years ago? I can't remember when it was. I want to say two or f- four years ago. Winter or summer. Doesn't matter. Doesn't change the story at all. But a bunch of people like that, or maybe it's just one person died and people just said they fell on knives. They just fell on a bunch of knives. What? Yeah. I don't remember that. It was during, um, it must've been summer Olympics cause, um, it was when Ryan Lochte was in that scandal sometime around there. Yeah. I remember when he, when he got like mugged. Yeah. Yeah. It was the same year. Like someone died, but someone obviously killed him, murdered him. And it's like, Oh, that person just fell on knives during the, little- like was an Olympian. Yeah. Or it's during the Olympics for sure. I don't know if it's an Olympian or not. I should have maybe researched this story beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, bad Googler. So that's what it's <laughs> like when you die in Minecraft and it pops I'll up and it's it. like sank in lava or tried to swim in lava and just yeah, yeah. tried to work. fell on knives. Yeah. Um, I'll find it. Liam, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so when I read that one, I was like, where the fuck is Sean White in this? And so Sean White, also known as the Flying Tomato, is a snowboarder who has won... <laughs> By you? <laughs> Do you call him that? Did or you throw friendly? that in there? It's, it, I mean, yeah, it's right there. Also known as the flying tomato. But did you throw that in there? No. Or that was just straight off of the oh. search. Nice. Have you never heard that before? No, I've known him as Sean White. <laughs> you seriously have never heard that? Never looked at him and said, oh, there's that mater. <laughs> but Fresh mater? Yeah. People say that all the time. I never heard it. Well, he used to have really long red hair. I remember that. Exactly. I'm talking Mountain Dews, talking baby. Mountain Dew, baby. In the back have some drinks. Juice. Have some. Wait a minute. Well, you're drinks. Right? You're 19 years old. I'm talking, talking Mountain Dews, baby. And he's playing with his medal and stuff. And yeah. You just sick. know he was. That's about as close oh. to Austin Powers as you can get there. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking Mountain Dews, baby. <laughs> and then he's right after that. He goes, do I make you Randy, baby? <laughs> that was the one that was all sixes and sevens. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, has won three Olympic gold medals in the half pipe event in at the Torino 2006, Vancouver 2010, and Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Olympics. You guys know the history about the torch? The Olympic torch? Nope. Me Hit me with it. The Olympic torch is a reminder of the game's Greek origins. Since 1928, this tradition has continued in the modern games. The Olympic flame was first introduced in the modern era at Amsterdam 1928, where it was lit atop a tower overlooking the Olympic Stadium. The idea for the Olympic flame was derived from the ancient Greek ceremonies where a sacred fire was kept burning throughout the celebration of the ancient Olympics on the altar of the sanctuary of Hestia. The Olympic torch relay was first staged in Berlin in 1936, and the flame was lit in Olympia, Greece, in the same way as it is in ancient times, with the aid of a parabolic mirror reflecting the sun's rays. The modern Olympic flame is ignited every two years in front of the ruins of the Temple of Hera. The Olympic flame and torch relay serve as a homage to to the significance of fire 
I don't think you pronounce the H that much. <laughs> I was going to say homage. Homage. <laughs> homage. The homage. homage. <laughs> the hobbits. Awesome, I'm just yeah. reading. It's like with the hobbit. What do you use? Is it just homage? Homage. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Soft, oh, I know. Soft H. Soft J. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking funny. Go for a yog. Greek mythology. Soft J. <laughs> the original. All right. Now we get to the scandals. So during the Olympics. Cool. Athletes, we just skip past that. Liam's <laughs> like, I'm going to read a quick blurb on the torch and we're going to yeah, move on. It's nothing more about the torch. Yeah, it's just, it's a piece of fire. Well, they yeah. do it every year. <laughs> they do at the beginning. They have that long ass ceremony. Yeah. yeah the everyone's passing yeah, they're, it. They're paying homage. <laughs> <laughs> homage to the Greeks. Homage. Having some hummus afterwards. <laughs> during the Olympics, athletes typically stay in the Olympic village. The Olympic Village is a complex set of accommodations built specifically for the athletes and their support staff. The village provides a range of amenities and services for the athletes, including in dining facilities, medical care, and recreational areas. The village is designed to provide a comfortable and secure environment for the athletes to rest and prepare for their events. Every four years, the world's best athletes gather for their chance at gold in the Olympic Games. For only a few short weeks, these Olympic communities are bustling playing host to droves of athletes and providing the structures they need to compete, eat, and sleep in. For each Olympic Games, millions of dollars are spent constructing stadiums, swimming pools, living quarters, and more for this very reason. We're going to have to teach you what bullet points are next time you're on the note. Dude, I told you I just fucking hammered these. It's all right. You could hit a return button and it just gives you like, just like, if we, could, well, if, like, we could just like chime in here and there. Go like, ahead, chime in. Well, it's hard, but it's just. <laughs> chime in. Go ahead. I just don't know what to chime in on now because there's so much <laughs> you threw at me. We're, I mean. So just, they basically build these towns. It's a small village, yeah. And then what happens after the games are done? Are they just ghost town like no, California they're, Gold Rush? Or does they move like low-income housing people into it? Or? I think uh, man camps. Oil field workers. Yeah. But what happens to these structures once the games have concluded? (laughs) 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 Some Olympic villages. What do you think happens? Man camps and oil oil Um, play sites? I want to say low income housing, but I want to say I'm going to say paintball field. (laughs) That would be sick. Yeah, they turn it into a paintball course, like a a, a map and call it a Modern Warfare 2. I was just about to say. What does happen? Some Olympic villages have been converted to university housing developments, private residences, and shopping plazas. Oh, so they're like buildings. Yeah. They're not they're like, like Hoovervilles or something. No, what the they're fuck like, is probably like a village. It's complexes. like shanty towns. <laughs> shanty towns. <laughs> what the fuck is a shanty town? Yeah. Okay, so I'm yeah. gonna so back I'll, to my original question. I'll throw a biscuit at you and then hit you with a croissant. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as Liam said, go back to the original question. <laughs> What's a shanty town? Well, the original question was Hoovervilles. Yeah, and Hoovervilles you- were constructed during the Great Depres- Depression when. Herbert Hoover was the president and they called him Hoovervilles because they thought it was his fault for the Great Depression. I thought that's where so it, it was just lived. No. He's Hooverville. People. Yeah. Hoovervilles. Uh, closely related, but not quite. Just cousins. Was that me saying I have a booger? What? Is that why you sniffled? Because I showed you my nose. Oh. Uh, just a t- Anyways, Herbert. Herbert, yeah, good old Herbert Hoover. Easy Pay idea. homage to Herbert Hoover. <laughs> but yeah, they're I'm just sorry. these little, like made out of like tin huts and like tents and stuff during the Great Depression. They called them Hoovervilles. Yeah, and then Shantytown, why'd you throw that at us? That's a synonym. So they called them Shantytowns in Herbert Hooverland or were this different <laughs> times? Um, I think Shanty is a, very pirate is a, Shantytown <laughs> is, a, is a broad term and Hooverville was specific to the yeah. Great Depression. I feel like a shanty is like a beverage for pirates, maybe. I want to say shanty. song. Yeah, a shanty is a dance. <laughs> the yeah. sea shanty, yeah. Yeah. So it's Ooh, a shanty town. It's where they sing a lot of songs. Yeah, it was, was that Partyville. The, oh, oh. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. That one? Had to be. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, it has to be that exact one. There went to the land who went to sea. Something uh, like that. Others. Uh, do other shanty pirates. towns, however. <laughs> And <laughs> fallen into disarray, forever frozen in time. Oh, like they just don't do anything with them. And there's like pictures I saw of like the 
It's like they're ghost just towns. A, yeah, it's just abandoned buildings, and they're just like covered in like Olympic rings and crazy shit like That's that. That's what said they uh, the places that host the Olympics spend so much money on all the infrastructure and facilities that it just like messes up the whole entire it ruins it. city for yeah for decades after that. Do they pick a new city every time they go somewhere? I think uh, they try to. There have been like, some repeats, haven't there? But there can't be like how many places are you going to have the Olympics in? Well, they just had it like, in Rio de Janeiro. Right, but that's a huge that's, city with, yeah. a, but like how many different places could you Parts have it in it, Brazil? Though. Like you're not going to have it in the favelas, you know? It's either, it's either favelas or Amazon. The Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games, I think were like right outside of the favelas. Yeah, but there's like a Like downtown. you could see like here's the Olympics right next to where everything was going on. They it's constructed. Just absolute shithole. Yeah, there's a wall that they built between. They didn't want any of the. The thievery going on. Maybe that's where Trump got his idea. For the wall? Yeah. yeah. Could be. Seemed to work. Took I mean, it from Berlin. It worked in Rio. Yeah. You guys know what happens at these uh, Olympic villages? That's Sex, what I was going to say. Do they do that kind of stuff? Rock and roll. I'm sure, some, I'm sure some countries do. Tons. Tons of sex. It's basically... You I was, think it's cross country? It's everybody. I was reading the article. I'm pretty sure it was Lochte who was doing an interview back in like early 2000 or something like that and like spilling the beans about it all. And he was just like, it's basically like the first day of college. Like everyone's like checking each other out. Like nobody knows who plays what. So like when you, it's like totally normal, like to go spark up a conversation. Like what, uh, what sport, like, hey, what, do you, what, what do you do? Yeah. Stuff like that. And Badminton. All Can't these, you tell like, by my socks? Yeah. And then you walk away. All yeah. the way up to their knees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's hot. <laughs> Uh, I could get down with her, yeah. But I mean, they're all like, they're in this Olympic village, so everyone's twenty to thirty right next to each other. Yeah, they all go eat at the same place, and then they all go just compete with each other. And so, I mean, at the end, after all the events, there's like pools and spas and shit like that, and people are just chopping it up. Yeah. You ask them, though, what do you do? I'm part of the Air Sixty Nine and team. That's where <laughs> yeah. you want to be, and that's they know they hit the jackpot when they water curling. <laughs> I yeah, I'm in new cricket. <laughs> new cricket it actually came about but these three dudes are on a podcast i don't know yeah. if you've heard the origin of new cricket but it's just th- it's just a few <laughs> random people holding cricket clubs <laughs> not an actual sport they're like oh we're actually here to play new cricket yeah <laughs> like well we don't have the rules set out yet but figure we're we here got it to the we're actually gonna pioneer it this year <laughs> pioneer it's a good word but uh i think i think he or somebody said in there where like the medical staff over the course of the years they've increased the condom account for twenty thousand to forty, and now lately it's at like a hundred thousand condoms. They provide the Olympics. Yes. Thing. Wow. So it's a thing. It's not like it's it's like it's full on. No, it's like people are having like orgies and just Olympic um, orgies. That should be the new yeah. sport. How would <laughs> we could not televise that? No, but you could. It have to be the a Patreon. Patreon. Only fans. The yeah. Olympics has an only fans. The Olympics only fans. Yeah. Who hmm. takes gold? <laughs> yeah. Is it who comes first or who comes last? <laughs> How do you know? Uh, that's true. If it's a speed thing, which most Olympic events are. Yeah. Talk yeah. about being a gold sometimes medal here. It's yeah. the most, <laughs> sometimes it's the most weight you can lift. So <laughs> that's true. You never know. Yeah. I so do you think wild. like swimmers are like only like. You know, chopping it with swimmers, or do you think they branch oh, no. out? I think That's it's, what I think it's everybody. But it is there an American be. swimmer boning a Japanese ping pong player? That's Could what be. I'm asking. Good. There's a language barrier, though. Maybe they got I Google. I think now. The, I think a lot of people outside of the U.S. No more English than and us. We do. Yeah. Any other language? You think that's yeah. the language they default to at the Olympics? Yeah, probably. It's the most spoken. I think in the world is it. Probably right behind like Chinese. Just, just so, many, so many of them. Yeah. yeah. And they have the Rosetta Stone over there. But I think American might be spoken by less people, but in more countries. It's cooler. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> it's so much harder. <laughs> yeah, but it's cooler. That's why it's cool. That's uh that's pretty much all I got. If you want to anyone listening wants to tap into crazy Olympic village stories. There's yeah, if there's any that? Olympics, English. English number one, Olympians that want to tell us their story in the, uh, uh, the first LaPont. summer Olympic Games had just 14 participating countries. Now more than 200 countries compete in the Olympics. How many countries are there? More than God. 200. 
I think I, I mean, asked this in a previous episode and I said 206 and then they said, that was no, that's bones. bones um, in your body. Yeah. Let's go. I'm going to ballpark it to 286. I feel like he knows the answer is 286. Yeah. Is it? I'm, if I I'm, no if I'm believing it. No, Nathan, how many up. countries are there in the world? So we I don't need know. Here. I'm, we'll not, I'm, not, be, I'm not believing that you're ballparking anything. That'll be you have rat. a strong. It's probably like 317. I'll go 296. Um, I'm going to go with 316. John Deere. 195. 195. What? There's 195 countries? Yep. In the world? Yep. I guess some of them fell off since that article <laughs> was written. Well, I suppose, yeah. Belarus and those places that just got taken over. There's 193 countries that are member states of the United Nations and two countries that are non-member observer states. Okay. Well, that article. That's just the United show. Nations. Yeah. No, but the, like the no, there's two that aren't a part of the United Nations. So one. I gotta feel like there's more than just two that aren't hanging out. It's probably the Vatican and what? Yeah, the Vatican's a country. Nobody ever knows yeah, what's the happening there. City in the state of Palestine. Hmm. All right, cool. Well, uh, anything else on the Olympics? Maybe this one we can leave. We didn't touch on a ton of the Olympics, but if you guys have anything that we didn't touch on, we can do that in the beginning of an ep- next episode in the comments section. Yeah, mm-hmm. leave a comment about your favorite Olympic shit, event, athlete, <laughs> stuff, rumor, rumor. Yeah. Any cool factoids? Yeah. Or what you would want to see a new Olympic sport like new cricket. New cricket. But <laughs> cricket. your own version yeah. of something. Yeah. We already have new cricket. That one's ours. Don't take it. And I guess the last thing I to end this off is just, guys, sea urchins are a thing. We got to yeah, out there. Know. And we need there. you to start spreading some more awareness. There are urchins. <laughs> there are <laughs> it's urchins. It's like a horror film. We'll see you guys next week for episode 45.